And uh, <laughs> Brad Pitt's abs. I think that's a good place to end the show. Or at least end the news part of the show. Yeah. What do you think about that? All right, Ryan. I think it's time for questions from the Faithful 50 now. We do have questions from the Faithful. What do we got? Got anything good? The first question we have from Christine. And she wants to know that she has not been watching. I'm guessing our show. Because she has not seen Endgame. Don't worry, Christine. We are not currently talking about it. So. I am not, we are not going to tell you that Captain America marries Iron Man and they move to Nebulous 3. We're, we would not say that Spider-Man came back as Spider-Gwen instead. With a, uh, with a Venom suit. Yeah, and then Venom came out and him and Hulk had a big hug. We're not going to say Thanos turned everybody into marshmallows and... Had a giant barbecue. Yeah. And, and then he just ate s'mores. For the whole so Avengers should be called S'mores Game. Yeah, S'mores Game. Um, let's see. So, but she said uh, she wants to figure if it's safe to come back. So she said the summer is uh, here, and she wants to know what is our favorite keep the kids busy so they don't kill each other summer activity. Oof. I don't know if she's trying to look for help for her kids or not, but uh, my kids are can barely even be in the same room together at this point um so we our our stuff is mostly uh you go in your room and you go in the other room and find something to do by yourself because you guys are gonna straight up murder each other yeah there's no way this is a trick question because there's no way to keep there's nothing on earth that can keep the kids away from murdering each other all summer Mm-hmm. Uh, it doesn't matter what you do. You could be like, you take your bike and go that way, and you ride your bike and go that way, and somehow they'll find each other in the middle of the neighborhood and still fight. Um, so I think you, I think you're going about this all wrong. So I think what you got to do, Chris, Christine, is you got to you got to drink so much that you don't care that your kids are murdering each other. Yeah. That's what I do. Or, or you just get to the point where you, you don't have to drink. But if something happened, you say, is anyone bleeding? And they say no, then you say then leave me alone. Or if you're scared of becoming a raging alcoholic, which is a valid concern with children, um, I say noise canceling headphones are mm-hmm. really good. Get your tablet or device, and you can yeah. sit wherever they're playing, and you can just tune them out, and you can just melt yeah. away watching Some, our show, uh, or maybe like The Flash or something. You can you can always somehow trick your spouse into spending some time with the kids and then sneaking away. Listen, if watching Chernobyl unfold is less hor- horrific than spending time with your own kids because they're psychos. Yeah. Just saying. I understand. Well, there you go, Christine. That, that's our help for you this there week. There you go. I uh, see. So, uh, Perry... He wants to know, uh, have you seen a trailer for the Star Wars Clone Wars Season 6? Yes. Of well, course, I watched most of it. I'm I sure watched... Brian has not only seen it, but Brian has absorbed it into every fiber of his being. Well, okay, and... so full disclosure, even though I am a diehard Star Wars fan, I didn't watch the last couple seasons of Clone Wars because it got really boring for me. So I always meant to go back and finish them. I just never got around to it, so... One of the things I'm going to do when um, the Disney streaming service launches with all of these seasons of Clone Wars is I'm going to rewatch them all. Um, so season six, I watched the trailer. It looked great. I, I'm excited that they're going to give us some closure with, I mean, we kind of already got closure with Ahsoka with the uh, Rebels, Star Wars uh, Rebels. I feel like a lot of the storylines that I knew about, we got closure in Star Wars Rebels, but um, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of hanging threads from Clone Wars that we're going to they're going to close out with the sixth season. That being said, yeah. because I hadn't watched the whole thing, a lot of where they were at, it wasn't, didn't, you know, it didn't mean a lot to me because I'm like, okay, I don't even know why they're doing it. I mean, I, I, I've watched all the movies. So I, and read most of the comics and stuff. So I have an idea of what's going on, but, um, yeah. I need to get caught up. That being said, the season six trailer looked really good. I'm really excited for it. I think, but I've said it from day one. I think Disney's doing a great job with star Wars. I think everything they do is really yeah, good. So, just- Disney's been knocking it out of the park with Star Wars. I mean, it's and now Galaxy's Edge is going to make them, you know, a trillion dollars. Yeah, so. at least it's going to be so much money. So yes, I'm very excited. Uh, I believe that's going to drop in November when they drop the streaming service. So it's either going to be November or probably the first of next year. So excited! Oh, thank you, Perry. 
And now we have uh, Chris. He wants to know what is a good side dish for a ravioli dinner. Uh, a uh, big bowl of ice cream. Garlic bread. Ice cream. Ice cream was a side dish for ravioli. That makes no sense. I think right. I think ice cream is a good side dish for any dinner, Ryan. You- what, you know what? Fuck you. I felt real judged. I felt like you were really judging me right there. Well. As a guy um, who likes to stick his finger in the holes of a pie, I figured you'd understand a man's yeah. desire for a good dessert. I, I do not do that, by the way. That's not what you said earlier in the show. No. Well, that was not what I was referencing. Just so you know. But uh, 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 what's a good side dish? So, yeah, I mean, a Caesar salad? Or you can go to Costco and you get the Costco salad that's got the spinach. That is probably the best salad. I don't know. Good dish for side dish for ravioli. I don't know. When I eat pasta, I literally just eat. I eat a salad. I eat as much pasta as humanly possible and garlic bread. That's a little. That's all I eat. Yeah, I just put everything on the garlic bread and eat the garlic bread. Red wine. Red wine is a nice side dish for ravioli. Or garlic mashed potatoes. I don't know. Watch The Godfather and see what they eat. Yeah, just do just find some Italians and ask the Italians, and I'm sure they'll even make it for you. Or just hit the Googles. I'm sure Googs knows. Hang on, let me ask. Hey Siri, what should you eat with ravioli? Okay, I found this on the web for what should you eat with ravioli. Side dishes on what you should eat with ravioli. Let's see what we got. A, a spring salad. Mm, no. Nope. You're out. Spring salad's out. Fresh roast, a platter of roasted vegetables. Nope, that's out. And bread. See, bread. Me and Ryan were right on. Boom. Look at that. Bread. That's I it. That the was and me and Ryan. So bread, ice cream, and Caesar salad. And mm-hmm. red wine. There you go. We just made your dinner for you. Boom. There we go. All right. Any other ones? No, that was it. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for your questions. It is uh, great. We would also love to hear your answers to those questions. Chris, what would you recommend for a ravioli side dish? Perry, what did you think of the trailer? And, uh, and Christine, what are you going to actually do yeah. for your kids this summer? I want to know because I've got two kids, too. I need to know what – we need to share the information because I need to know what to do to make them yeah. not murder each other either. All I know is that my wife is a stay-at-home mom, and that's her problem to do with. Wow, so. that was real sexist you. It's 2019, Ryan. Mm, don't be that guy. Bad. Wow. Wow. I feel like I don't even know you anymore. All right. Thank you, everybody, for your questions. We deeply appreciate it.